This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron. Now, you know, this is kind of a, a, a different type of video because I've had this experience late, lately. I, I always look when I go buy a game, <clears throat> if it is a one to whatever player game. Okay, so I look for cooperative games and things like that. And a lot of games will tell you that they are one player. <clears throat> and in doing so, um, I get fooled a lot of times because a lot of these games will be maybe one versus whoever, but they'll maybe have one scenario out of the entire box for for a solo adventure, and you get completely fooled by it. Uh, Waste Nights is, is, is I'm going to give you an example. They have <clears throat> one tutorial for solo player. Now, granted, you could play two players, but you would have to control both um, both characters, and that's okay. That gives you the solo experience. I don't mind that. But when a game says that it is has a solo experience, and for the most part, you have a whole bunch of scenarios with two to three players, and then maybe one or two, is it worth spending that sixty to seventy dollars for that game? When you know you're never going to, you know, like in my situation, we don't have people here and stuff like that. Or, or you know, the kids are too busy to do things. And I really, you know, wonder, you know, because Solo is so popular, especially nowadays with everything going on. And I think a lot of companies are rushing a Solo requirement into a game. And by doing so, um, you know, well, if we put one scenario here, we can we can put the one to four because they know that's going to attract more people if you have a solo option because solo gaming has become very, very, very popular. And I think we get fooled and um, the wool pull over our eyes. I mean, I spent three hundred dollars on, on, on a miniature game and I'm not going to mention the game and um the solo option was like, well, we have a scenario for it. And I'm like, okay, so the rest of this I can't play with. And I'm finding more and more games are doing that. Adding very little solo content just so they can put that, that solo, ver that you know, check all the boxes. It's about checking all the boxes. And it really bothers me a bit. Because I'm somebody that, that relies on solo games. Heck, there are some great channels out there. When uh, you know um, uh, the one-stop show, uh, co-op shop, uh, uh, Rolling Solo, my boy Adam. Okay, that 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 are playing games solo. Okay, so people gravitate to those two those channels because they're probably you know some of the best solo uh, players out there. Okay. And and they see something and they go, yeah, I want to play that. And that has has sparked a lot of games, a lot of sales in games for for their solo variants. And you're finding more and more people are playing solo. See, there goes a solo game on the ground. But um, you know, card games and things like that. People look for that solo option. So when uh, what it seems like a lot of companies are doing are rushing rushing out a solo option or a solo scenario so they could put that that one to whatever on the box and that's going to attract even more people checking the boxes as i said and instead of really putting a complete effort into playing the whole game differently okay which caught, takes money and time and research and development and all that other fun stuff. Um, they're rushing something in there just to get get in there. And I'm seeing more and more of it. And I wonder if you ran into it and have run into disappointing things like this. Because it has really, really bothered me. And a lot of games have come in and gone out. 
as quickly as they they've come in and it's really disappointing because maybe i don't do enough research and why should i have to do tons and tons of research when something looks interesting to me it offers me a one to whatever option okay and then it's not there you know it's like well you can do this on this scenario here's here's a uh, thing that you can do and so forth and so on do i want to have a, a, a good solo option in a lot of games i sure do i need to because you know if it's two to four players it may get here if there's a way i can play both players but if it's if it's something that's competitive it doesn't see the light of day here unless it's a warhammer game where i can try to shut off part of my brain or a war game of some sort or if a game says three to whatever three to five forget it it's not even a consideration here okay and and just to kind of sum it up one of the one of the best games out there right now is a hidden movement game and i was really looking forward to this and you can see it's still in the wrapper but when i got it in and i went to go download the app the app isn't even ready for it and it says oh a free app allows you to play solo or cooperative now i did a whole video on this uh about this but it may it, it, there this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg uh, uh in, in a bunch of games that i've run into where the solo option just is kind of like an afterthought so why put the one to whatever just make it two to whatever okay and say well yeah maybe we have this that or the other or you know, put some, you know, maybe, just maybe, you know, you wait a little bit, add enough into it, or just, just scrap it totally. I, I, I just, it, it's, it boggles the mind how this is a ongoing trend here. Well, if we throw one scenario, we can claim it one to whatever, and that's going to attract all those solo players. No, no, because then we feel like we, we paid for a third of the game or a fourth of the game okay we we paid uh, you know 70 bucks to play only one one fourth of a game that doesn't make any sense and that's not fair to the solo players out there and there there is a strong solo pr presence out there it doesn't matter if you're playing you know well games are made to be played with others for the interaction experience no a game is made to be played to be played doesn't matter if it's by one person or 15 people so this whole the board game experience crap hey heck who wants to deal with a whole bunch of different part personalities sometimes sometimes you just want to be able to think and play and just test yourself against a very intelligent ai or something or, or make games so hard that you don't beat them if you beat them too easy it doesn't make any sense so I wonder if if you guys have run into this experience. I know it's something that that seems to be bothering me more and more every every day when I'm bringing in more games and it's a half-assed uh, solo option in the games. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think. All right, and as always, I appreciate everything you guys say. And until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.